One or the other. Let's go after the bigger target. That's a critical. He's good, though. If you have never seen this tank on the battlefield, more precisely, if you have never versed this tank on the battlefield, count your lucky stars. This is, I would argue, actually, I'm, I'm confidently arguing that this is the best 4.0 British tank in the game. For one main reason, armor. Armor on this thing is absolutely ridiculous for 4.0. Now, what this is, I think, is a combination of a Churchill, Cromwell, but I, I, I got to be honest, I don't know where these tracks come from. It honestly looks like those are from the Centurion series. Hang on, let's go customize this one. Yeah, I don't know, guys. They're just some massive tracks for a low BR vehicle. I think with everything, it's a combination of the Cromwell, the Churchill, and then the side armor of a Matilda-ish. Just the uh, overlaying armor, etc. And I would consider this a relatively rare tank. This was gifted out in 2017 for the World War II Chronicles. Now, it might have been on the War Bond shop every now and then, but that's kind of the reason why you don't see it too much. And now to go over the armor at 4.0, feast your eyes. Feast your eyes, 4.0, 114 millimeters sloped at one degree. So pretty much 90 degree armor, 114, 114 in a nice slope of 55 or 74 degrees where rounds are not penetrating at all. None at this BR. Side armor is going to be 64. We have a 25 millimeter plate here or 25.4. And then if we can sneak it in, 39 millimeters of armor. And you can see it. You can see the play style already that we're going to use today. 39 here, 25 here, 64 millimeters of armor in total. We're going to be angling like this. That should be enough to <laughs> withstand any round we face. And then as you can see, our turret is now 129 and our hole is 130 and they can't pen this. Absolutely not. This can't be penned. I didn't touch on this, but hopefully we won't need it in today's battle. Is the reverse speed is one of the worst reverse speeds in the world or in the game. It only has negative two, which makes it an extremely offense or an extremely effective offensive tank because you don't feel like pulling back you don't feel like retreating because it's it's kind of hard to now we have a little bit of a up br here 4.7 with the jumbos and we're gonna oh gosh yep bounced yeah just, just, just bounced that one okay kv2 confirmed behind this rock in front of us decently sized game Okay, that guy's dead over there. And as you can see, the mobility on this thing is just amazing. Bringing so much armor into the battlefield so quickly. This guy has to have something wrong with him. Good reload rate. So that was the only guy over here. Okay, we got a little thingabobber here. We'll go for the engine. Wait, hang on, we gotta be careful here. Got a T-34 in front. Oh, wow, okay. One more guy over here, I believe. That guy that we shot is still repairing his cannon barrel and such. Okay, be easy here, okay. Not yet. Oh God, I don't like that, let's angle. Good hit.
Okay, that really screwed us over right there. Is that T-34 in front of us back? Oh, wow. Sneak it. Good. Can it breach done again? This is not a good example of when this tank should perform well. We got a normal T-34 right here. We're going to angle. Okay. Oh, wow. Did this guy just kill himself? Wait, who just died? Is this guy dead? Wait, what just happened? Okay, right side. Okay, we're gonna push over here, get out of harm's way for a little bit. The same time I'm expecting. Don't you hate that? That is the worst in War Thunder where you're like, oh, maybe I should just wait a little bit longer and you get KO'd because of it. We should have just stayed still right there and waited for them, but I wanted to get down to Charlie, get a little bit of a hold down, not so out in the open, but turning our six to the enemy really wasn't that good of an idea. Okay, we got an enemy plane up. And the beautiful thing about the Excel the Excelsior is that at, um, at 4.0, you get the Firefly for support. I don't, I don't think this guy sees me. Oh, yes, but we have a P-38 to help us out here. I think he should be getting him right. Yeah, okay, yeah, he, he's on a six. Okay, let's see who's trying to get Bravo. Don't really want to go after KV-1s. Don't see anybody we're pulling off. And the P-38 crashed, but at least he got the uh, Yak-3. Okay, I see a T-34. Wow, I don't know how I didn't spot him. Oh, gosh, that was so close to killing him. Good strike runs. He's stationary for a little bit. Oh, gosh. Enemy plane. We're going to try to turn inside of him here. Peshka. Don't really want to fly over their, their base right now. Hopefully, they don't have any anti-air. Okay, good. Bad bombs. It was a Yak-4. Okay, the Yak-4 killed an M4. But he ended up killing himself with that. <laughs> Splash damage. We kind of hurt him a little bit. Spotted them for our team. Ah, uh, good shots, good shots. A lot of anti-air over there. BTR as well. Okay, well, idle engines. Nice stealth approach. Whoa, no way they didn't kill them all. No way did I not kill the Zis 43 right there. Returning to the base. All right, well, I guess successful. Took out the BTR. Just what? Okay. I beg your pardon. Up BR again, not complaining. Well, I'm no scientist, but that sounded like an enemy. Get him, Sherman. There you go. Good bounce. I'll take it. Don't try nothing scary, man. He ain't going to go through me. 
<laughs> All right, let's go for the turret. Okay, a little bad shot there. A little more to the right. Gunner's out. Okay, his gunner's already replaced, I guess. Okay. And that is how the Excelsior deals with the KV-1. I think our team is annihilating them. Like, how good does that feel? You take the KV-1's play style and you shove it right back in his face. Feels good, man. Okay, this is done. I really gotta start watching the spawns, man. Pretty much what you're witnessing here is like the uh, Jumbo's like wet dream of having uh, Max BR 4.7 versus no T3485s. Oh, look who it is again. Stop that. I'm so strong, comrade. I'm so strong. Stop it, I don't have good reverse speed. Don't worry, I have more armor. <laughs> hey. Angle, keep it angled. Okay, we should be able to get him here. Distinguish. And on the reload, we'll go for, oh man. So that was good. Our engine was able to absorb pretty much that full round. That, that was that a 50, 70, uh, 76 millimeter. If we would have kept turning sideways, we would have given him a huge shot in the center of our crew compartment, which would have gotten us killed extremely easy. It just feels weird being this little cute British tank countering KV-1s. It's, it's actually scary at 4.0. If you guys ever see one of these things, put a shot into the cannon barrel, take the cannon barrel out, and then push the son of a gun. Look at my reverse speed. Take out a track. Make him stationary. One or the other. Let's go after the bigger target. That's a critical. He's good, though. In this gameplay, we're going to demonstrate a vital tactic in warfare. It's called the decoy. <laughs> and so the premise of what we're going to do in this game is that we're going to sit in the open, extremely angled, and at about a thousand meters, we shouldn't get penetrated. And with that, everyone will be distracted shooting us while our team's able to shoot them in the sides and uh, capture all the points. But we have to get there, and we have to make a ruckus getting there. So everyone's like, ooh, a Cromwell, or something. Yeah, and this is gonna be a challenge you want to, reversing the Germans. Their rounds inside of about 800 can kill us if we're not angled. Oh, I actually hit somebody, wow. That was funny. There we go, we got one distractor. It'd be very interesting if their rounds can get here. What is this? Now that's a flak truck. I don't know if it's operational. What are these guys doing? I mean, honestly, I can range this now. Oh God. Oh, I saw an 88 millimeter coming towards me. There goes a bounce. There goes a bounce. Good. We'll start. Wait, hang on. Let's, let's angle up a little bit more. There we go. No, no. A little bit. There we go. Perfect. Good bounce. Where's that flak idiot? There he is. Wow. You are a strong mamma jamma tank. Got one more still aggroed on me. 
Another one aggroed on me. We're going to... Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just keep going. Because artillery doesn't hit in the same spot, right? <laughs> That's not good. We got someone from the backside. Okay, we got to figure out how, how, how we're going to do this right now. I think he just died. Okay, we're gonna get behind the smoke. And we're gonna start to repair. That almost ruined our day right there. This is actually an over angle, so if the 88, well, it depends on the range. There goes an M10 that was shooting at me. Okay, operational. There we go. That's the angle I want. Thank you. Come on, guys. Over here. Shoot over here. Okay, that 88 millimeter truck's gone. With the flak bus. Now, I'm feeling confident that our team has taken out a good line of those uh, snipers that we can just push them now. Though, this is where we're going to potentially die just because as we get closer, that 75 gets that much stronger. Uh, not the best hit. Slow reload, though. This should be a good hit. Oh, fuck it. There we go. Good. Okay, that Panzer, that Storm Panzer is getting closer. We got four more rounds left. <laughs> you better get that ammunition out of here. Incoming. Oh, still a little short. I don't think it'll last too much longer. Okay, and we try again. There we go. Good hit. Okay, threat taken down. That was the last guy. Well, I don't know. Hopefully, oh no, no, that in, that T thirty four. I got a kill assist for it. One round left. Good job, team number three. Oh my gosh, no caps, two kills, and a lot, a lot of bounces and some penetrations. Oop! I heard it. I heard it go off. I heard it. I heard an eighty eight millimeter. I think we got ourselves a flak bus still somewhere. Got him in sight. Good hit. Good hit. We gotta go though. We gotta go though. Someone got him on fire. Good. All we have is our... Okay, good. We have a coax machine gun. Oh! <laughs> you would think that an AP round right to the core would be able to kill enough crew. Oh, well shot too. Well shot. Right in the weak spot. And I say squishy with air quotes because 63.5 millimeters is the same, the same armor as the M4A2 has on the uh, the front, the upper glacis, like the mainstay. Granted, this is a little more armored, but still. So an extremely armored vehicle that you need to take out quick. You need to take these out early game or they'll wreck. They, they really, really will. They have all the tools. They have turret rotation. They have re reload rate. They have good mobility and they have the armor. They kind of tick a lot of the boxes in Warthorn that make a great tank. Take out the gun barrel, take out the track, work it, work it sides. Guys, again, hope you have enjoyed. Have a great one. Peace out.